Well, thanks for logging on. Storm Talker team meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook here. We're going to talk tropics this Sunday evening. We have lots to talk about, and the tropics are pretty active as we end the month of June, heading toward July, but it feels more like August or even September at that. Right now, we have Hurricane Barrel, which has a Category 4 strength right now as of the 7 p.m. advisory uh, this evening. Pressure is down to about 958 millibars, so it has been strengthening the past day or so. Current winds maximum sustained are at 130 miles per hour. You can see right now where that eye is clearly defined just to the east of the Windward Islands. It has a pretty good structure, a pretty healthy system right now as it is pretty much in a favorable environment, low shear and rather warm, of well above average temperatures for those waters and that's helping to fuel this system. That's why we've seen such a, a rapid intensification of the system the past day or so. In fact, looking at the numbers, it was just a tropical storm early Saturday morning at about 65 miles per hour with max sustained winds and throughout last night and into this morning, Sunday morning, it really rapidly intensified moving to a hurricane, a category 1 hurricane, and then becoming a category 3 by Sunday morning, and then now a category 4 at 130 mile per hour winds, and this is a hurricane has been breaking some records. This is actually the furthest east that a hurricane has formed in the Atlantic Basin in the month of June, as well as being the strongest hurricane in the month of June on record in the Atlantic. This is being the her barrel being now the only category four or stronger storm in the month of June, albeit we are in the last day of June heading toward July, but that kind of shows you just how above average and possibly record setting the season could be as we go forward in this hurricane season of 2024. So let's talk about Hurricane Barrel with this current forecast. So right now it's just to the east of the Windward Islands, it's just to the about the south, southeast of Barbados, and it's kind of Category 4 hurricane right now as of the 7 p.m. advisory and it will likely maintain or possibly strengthen a little bit. You see the forecast tracks right there are points about 145 mile per hour by Monday morning, early Monday morning moving over the islands, still category 4 through Monday afternoon. So it's going to be a pretty significant deal uh, for those windward islands. Now as you go forward with time however, Moving westward through the Caribbean, luckily you kind of maintaining strength a little bit before coming to a Category 3 strength, maybe Category 2 by Jamaica. And so a lot of you are going to see a little bit of that weakening trend, only because we may see some more wind shear that kind of might decrease that strength. And then you see as we get to about the end of this week come Friday or so, a tropical storm symbol there as it moves possibly over the Yucatan Peninsula, which might begin to weaken it a little bit more as it moves over land instead of open water by then. But still lots to talk about in the before we even get to that point in time. So as you move to the Caribbean, you see a lot of that red there over near Jamaica by Tuesday to Wednesday. That's more higher in wind shear, and that might help to work to weaken the system as it is a compact, small system. It might be more susceptible to those higher wind shear values as it gets toward the Western Caribbean. So that, that might weaken it a, a touch. Regardless, it's still going to be a pretty dangerous system as it moves through the Caribbean, likely just to the south of Puerto Rico, the, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti as well. But likely it may be possibly even moving right over Jamaica too, possibly again as a category two storm or so. Now as you get toward the end of this week, heading toward this weekend, about Thursday or Friday or so, barrel you see there that big L likely gonna be between Jamaica and the Yucatan Peninsula. Now the a little bit of uncertainty in the forecast track as we get toward that day six, day seven range past Thursday into the weekend. As you'll see, we have high pressure over the southern US that's denoted by that big H right there. That has of course clockwise winds. Now, the stronger that high pr pressure will be, the more of a chance the system will take more of a westerly track, say over the Yucatan Peninsula and to the far southwest Gulf of Mexico. Now, if this high is a little bit weaker, then the system might begin to take a little bit more of a northwesterly jog in the Gulf of Mexico. So, still a lot of uncertainty to see as we get toward that point, and it's still well ways out as well. Even if this were to impact the U.S., say Texas or somewhere along the Gulf Coast, you see where it is now east of the Lesser Antilles. So, we're talking seven, eight days or so away from any potential U.S. impact. So, plenty of time to monitor this right now. As of right now, there's no immediate tropical threats for us here in Louisiana, but of course we will continue to monitor this as we go through this upcoming week. Now elsewhere in the tropics, we have newly formed Tropical Depression 3. Now this was Invest 94L earlier today, but the hurricane hunters have been in there re are doing some recon, and they did find a center of circulation well defined with winds right now at 35 miles per hour. Now this is a very going to be a short-lived system as it already is almost over 
or completely of Mexico's coast right there. But the forecast track for this does bring in over Mexico as a tropical storm of 40 mile per hour winds by late tonight, early tomorrow morning. If it does reach the tropical storm status, then it would be tropical storm Chris. But again, it would be a rather short lived system as it will be dissipating or so later in the day tomorrow, heading into Tuesday as well. Now, that will bring some uh, flooding rains possible for Mexico, but no th impacts here in Louisiana or, or the Gulf Coast, northern Gulf Coast, that is, from tropical depression 3. Now elsewhere, also in the Atlantic, we have one more area to watch. This is actually to the east of a barrel. You see barrel there, category 4 storm, but behind that you see we have a tropical wave uh, just to the east of barrel, and that has a, actually a high chance of development over the next 7 days, 70% chance there, and a medium chance, 40% over the next 2 days. This is Invest 96L's tropical wave uh, over the central Atlantic. This is likely going to become our next tropical depression, possibly by midweek or so, and maybe even a storm at that as it moves westward, possibly kind of following into barrel's footsteps, heading to the lesser into the islands, and to the Caribbean as well. But again, lots to talk about and a lot to monitor as well, but thank right now not expecting any immediate threats here in Louisiana for at least the next seven days but of course we will keep you up to date and all things tropics as we continue to track the topics so the storm tracker team I'm meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook